Hey guys, so today, what's today? Today, today's September 14th, so this is the September BoxyCharm unboxing. Uh, I received my box a few days late. I usually get them very, very quickly. Um, I didn't this time, so I'm a little behind. Uh, I still wanted to put up an unboxing for you, of course. If you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly subscription service that sends you goodies to your house every single month for a, a little tiny nominal fee. Um, yeah, so listen, I've got a link in the description bar. If you guys want to click and subscribe to BoxyCharm, that's an affiliate link, so I'll get a little tiny portion of that. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, I say this in every video, but if that makes you feel uncomfortable, please feel free to go to Boxy to come directly and sign up if you like this box so let's just jump right into it I am feeling fall just so you guys know I'm feeling the cooler weather it's gonna be in the mid 70s here all next week in New York and I'm very excited about it because a girl has some sweaters she wants to wear <laughs> okay so uh, this month's box looks promising already um, here is the little boxy info pamphlets um, this month's box is called Wildflower. I really love this color palette. Like, I love this whole aesthetic. This is so pretty. I love that. It reminds me of like a floral crown. So, yeah, all right. So let's just get into it. Um, the first thing I see here is a Lorac Liquid Lipstick. Or Deep Burgundy. I feel like my last box, or the box before that, I got a Lorac Liquid Lipstick. If I'm, well, maybe it was Smashbox? Oh God, I can't remember. But I feel like this is kind of something I've gotten before. Um, I can't remember. Anywho, uh, the color is dark, uh, deep burgundy. It's a really pretty color, uh, really great for the season. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this on my lips. Um, yeah, I'm not super into the liquid lip anymore. Um, too much maintenance for me, if truth be told. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, I'd highly recommend a lip liner for this. Okay, I got I got a little crazy. I got a little, a little crazy with subjugation. We need to fix this right quick. <laughs> okay, so we have to break it down for you guys. <laughs> I have to break it down for you guys. I had a little bit of an old school Sam moment. I got really pissed at this product really quick. This liquid lipstick, thank God it dries down because it is so watery <laughs> it's so watery and it's so hard to control it got away from me quick uh, i had to bust out the concealer brush to just kind of bring this back into my lip line it got really out of control really quick i think i have maintained i have uh, uh, like a re regained control um it's looking a little patchy like it didn't go on even like it looks so velvety and pretty in in the uh the video um, you know, as I'm recording in the viewfinder, but like over here, it looks a little, I don't know, like I need more. I mean, I will be honest, the color is stunning. I mean, stunning. It, it does take a little bit of um, working though, like getting this to be even. It's a little thin, um, but as long as this dries down, it'll be fine. I probably won't reach for it a whole lot because I'm not crazy about liquid lips anymore. Um, but this color, I mean, hello, fall, I mean, it's kind of washing me out. It's making, like, the whole screen look <laughs> super white and washed out now, I think. But, like, the color's really pretty. Uh, let's get some info on it. This liquid lipstick, uh, what did I say? It was in the color something burgundy, right? Deep burgundy. And it's worth $19. So, sorry, that was, like, so involved. Hello. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. I see here Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll-On Liner. Um, looks like this. I hope this isn't one of those ones that MAC did with the little wheel. Yep, it is. <laughs> Boxy Charm. <laughs> September's not such a great month for me. All right, so here's the little wheel. It looks like it's going on cool. Um, I'm, I'm, it's actually performing better than I had expected it would. Um, I'm a little scared with the whole wheel thing because it seems so gimmicky to me, like I'm drawing like a whole <laughs> pattern on here. I will give it a go because I have the product. I have opened it up. I think as long as you maintain the right pressure on your lid, um, this should work. And as long as it doesn't smudge, I will be happy. I'll definitely give it a go. The whole wheel thing like seems a little gimmicky to me. Um, this is a value of $19 from Butter London. And this is Johanna's fave. Oh, the list, the lipstick, the lipstick. <laughs> the lipstick is Ashley's fave. So, 
All right, so let's move on to the next thing. I see a beautiful marbly blush from Laura, Get Laura Geller. This is a baked blush and brightener. Um, this is in the color Tropic Hues, and this is a value of $28. This is super beautiful. Let's try this on. I mean, this is, we're going to have to excuse the dirty blush brush, but like, you know, a girl's got to try this on because it is pretty. Let's see. Oh, it's got a, it's got a sheen to it. Do you see that? Woo. Okay. So you got to be careful. I had a matte thing, kind of like a semi matte cheek thing going on now. So it's giving me a little bit of, a little bit of metallic cheek, but I like it. I do have texture on my skin, so it's giving me a little, a little texture. Um, let me just pat this down a little bit with my little, where's my little buffy? My little puppy. Getting crazy here with my little brush. But that's pretty. That's a really great color. Um, it's like a blush and highlighter in one. I really love that concept. Oh, there's a, there's a mirror here. Let's itch your eyeball. Next, I see a brush set, an eye brush set from Alomar Cosmetics. It's called the oh Ojitos brush set. This is $18. Um, this one brush looks really good, actually. It looks like a really nice blendy brush. And it looks like we have another eyeshadow palette, so we can maybe test out a couple of the eyeshadows. Okay. All right, so here we go. This looks like a nice blending brush, a packing brush, and a liner brush. So that's really cool. It is, I believe, synthetic? Yeah, it's synthetic. And that can go along with the final thing in the box, which is an eyeshadow palette from Pretty Vulgar. I have to be honest, I'm kind of over the eyeshadow palettes right now. I'd like to see something a little bit different, but, you know, boxy, that's what you gave us. Um, this is $35 from Pretty Vulgar. Um, ooh, that palette is pretty. Let's get some of these shine, these shides. Let's get some of these shides on. Let's get hide and seek, which looks like a pretty warmy taupe. Let's do that. Let's add a little bit into the crease. Let's let's mess with our look a little, shall we? Cause you know, cause that always goes so well for us. <laughs> Well, I like the way this brush feels. It's nice and soft, and it blends very nicely, it feels like. And the shadow, I just added a little bit of shadow, and it looked like it added it um, it added a little bit of taupe. I already had like a warm kind of taupe in my crease, so it added a pretty kind of boom to it. Like some of these shades are really pigmented. I like that. It's so pigmented. God, that's like so 2014 that I just said that. <laughs> Alright, so this, this shadow palette looks really nice. Um, I'm excited to give it a go. Um, it looks like this, guys. It's got, it's very neutral. You know, it's got three uh, light highlighter shades. It looks like it has uh, one, two, three, four, five matte shades, a sparkly shade, and three kind of satiny, um, kind of satiny reflective shades. So, uh, alright, guys, listen. I'm very torn this month, BoxyCharm. This eyeshadow palette is really, really pretty. I love neutrals, like, I'm a neutral fanatic. Um, I think the brushes are really good. I love the quality of the brushes and the eyeshadow palette. I would have liked to see a little something different as far as the eyeshadow palette. Um, it's a $35 palette. I'm happy to have it. It's really pretty, but I have a bazillion for BoxyCharm already. Um, I really like the change up with the Laura Geller blush. This is really pretty. I feel like it gave like a nice sheen on my skin. I like that. Uh, in the end, I do like the way the, I don't know where it went, the Lorac Pro liquid lipstick went on. Um, it takes a little bit. I really should have put a lip liner on. I was being bold. So, you know, I went ahead and did it without the lip liner. And then the eyeliner, this is something different. I'm bitching about how I think I want something different in the box. They give me something different and I complain about it. Sam, shut up. We're going to give this a go. Hopefully this works for me. I would put it on today, but like, girl has kind of like an obnoxious wing as it is. So that's that. I did enough swatches back here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this boxing. It seemed really short to me. Um because it was. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for tuning in and sticking by. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye, guys.